What's up, Mopar fam? I hope everybody's having a blessed day out there. We have a problem. Frostbite hauler, the diesel truck, which is the 2017 Ram 2500 with the Cummins. I was driving home the other day and it started to get like a vibration. Every time I would take off, it was just like literally vibrating like crazy. So I was trying to figure out what it was when I got home, crawled underneath there, and I believe this is going to be the problem. Seems to be there's something wrong with my shaft. My shaft. Anyway, what I've narrowed it down to is right here by the bearing, which this is kind of towards the center of the truck in the drive shaft area. You can see we have a bad U-joint, a uh, universal joint. Looks like it is toast. Um, it had a pretty good amount of play in it. And as you can tell, that is not good. And it even looks like right here, looks like the cap is cracked so definitely have a problem and almost 100 percent sure that's going to be my vibration problem um, while we're in here i'm debating on replacing this bearing assembly although it does feel like it's still very tight and doesn't feel like it's bad so i don't know i might leave this alone um, but that's going to be our problem now this is the transfer case side because uh, my truck is a 4x4 so this is where the shaft would slide into the transfer case this u-joint seems to be jam up jelly tight no play no noise moves freely so i'm not going to mess with it that one's still good and down here at the rear end where it would connect to the rear end same thing this u-joint feels real tight no play no weird movements it moves freely so I think that one is going to be jam up jelly tight as well. So I'm not going to mess with that one. Just going to be this one, uh, which makes sense because this is in the center of the drive shaft. And it's probably where a lot of the movement of this shaft is happening. And I bet you this is probably the number one U-joint that fails on all these trucks first is going to be that one right there. So anyway, that's what we're doing kind of got me a little rig set up here to press these uh, caps down and get this u-joint out but let's get it out and then let's see how bad it is all right so for those that don't know on each end of these joints you have a little snap ring dilly kind of looks like a heart you'll have to take those out on each end once those are out then if you have a press uh, like my cheapy little harbor freight guy here um, which honestly works pretty good for the money I think it was like a hundred bucks um, so well worth its money for the price um, but you can use a press you can use a um, even like a bench vise you can even use a, a hammer and a socket um, but basically what you're trying to do is push uh, these little caps uh, they kind of look like little pistons kind of but you're pushing these caps down and pushing a whole joint down to where basically you're going to push one cap out and flip it over pull that cap out and basically repeat the process until all the caps come out and then you can remove the entire joint um, so you can do that with a hammer and, and sockets uh, you just got to make sure you got the right socket in there it fits everything because um, you're pushing on the inside of this not on the outside and then you obviously have to have something on the outside that just fits around this radius so that when you're pushing the caps, the cap can come through here and not catch on uh, the socket or whatever material or tool you're using. But anywho, we're gonna start pressing. I've already started to press this one. You can kind of see it. Um, it'll get some pressure going here and make a little pop noise, kind of scare everybody.
there you go see that see it just moved a whole bunch right there uh, WD-40 PB blaster goes a long way uh, when you're doing this um, but yeah this one's just about to be completely through on the bottom side there all right guys we got the old u-joint out and it is absolutely toast you can tell on this side and this side it was super super dry and it was actually seized up um, and that was not good you can see how dry the inside of that cap is this cap actually was the one that was cracked and it actually shattered um, on the upon removing it as you can see here's the top of it and some pieces some of the needles needle bearings that came out of those dry caps um, the caps on the other two right here which was the clean you can see how nice and clean it was those two was actually not bad um, they were rotating and free but these two right here was completely seized up and dry and uh, definitely wore down that shaft it's got a big uh, wear mark right here it's gouged out um, so that was definitely creating the play that we were having in the drive line and causing the vibration for sure um, and this is probably one of the random squeaks I kept hearing and could not figure it out so bet you that takes care of this as well so now it's just time to get the new U-joint and uh, reverse process, put it in and we'll be good to go.